Hello everyone and welcome back. This is TechMedic. Thank you for joining me today. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the elemental damage types in order to go ahead and create a grenade launcher. So in order to create this desired effect, we're going to go ahead and utilize a refined sling bow and we're going to make it entirely out of gold and or magic property materials. So utilizing this allows us to go ahead and use the magic marbles themselves, which are special. So these marbles are the poison, lightning, ice, and fire. So the lightning and the ice are not really that great, but the effect from the magic property will boost those uh, in order to go ahead and slow and stun for longer. But the application of a fire dot and a um, poison damage over time will go ahead and increase the damage that you can do. And you can utilize both of them at the same time along with Quake in order to go ahead and create some massive devastation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to go ahead and spawn these guys in and for some crowd control we're going to go ahead and drop a Quake. And then we're going to hit them with a Poison Marble. And you can see already that the damage is significant. So now that we got all these three effects going on, and that guy was out of range, but it gets a pretty good range, especially if you can get all these enemies inside of a desired choke point you can go ahead and mow down anything and with the quake going off you have the destruction of that there so these marbles will go ahead and splash off of any surface and sometimes you might get lucky there's been times where i've splashed off a wall and gotten a 12,000 crit 15,000 crit just from being in the vicinity. I don't know if it was because of the three dimension, like they were taking damage from this wall being reflected, this wall being reflected, and then the floor itself. But I was able to go ahead and kind of uh, see those numbers. I don't know how that all works on the game side of things, but utilizing this, the marble does splash. The marble does utilize magic power in order to go ahead and increase its dot damage as well as its initial damage as well. You are not going to go ahead and see the range one-to-one, -one, like if you were to shoot a headshot at one of these um, creatures with the magic-only crossbow, but you're going to go ahead and see kind of a, a splash off of that onto other creatures as well. And as you just saw, you know, we took down these guys in quite a significant amount of, uh, reduced sig <laughs> significant amount of time. So, you know, this has been my video to show you this. I did test this out on the shotgun to make it entirely out of gold so that its magic properties are pretty much similar to that um, refined sling bow itself. But, you know, the damage off the range from itself is 3,000 less than the one that is made out of entirely range metal properties. So you can kind of see if you, if you line the creatures up from where they're coming at to where they're running to you, you can get some penetration through there to apply the dots with the elemental shotgun shells or the pistol and rifle shells. But I find that utilizing the marbles and having this ability to go ahead and create a splash grenade uh, is really useful. So anyway, I hope you guys find this helpful. And if you made it this far, please like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you all in the next one. Happy hunting.